Hey, what's going on? I'm here with Edgar, and we're going to be going over escapes. And we're going to be starting off with escaping a very common position, which is the mount. And uh, we're going to be using something that's very simple, which is a hip escape. Some people call it shrimping. But I'm going to be going over a concept that I think a lot of people miss out on that makes it a lot more difficult than it has to be. All right, so let me go ahead and demonstrate to you exactly how it's going to look like. All right, so let's go ahead and break it down. So it's gonna happen, he'll start in the mount. Now I'm gonna start from maybe what would be like a very bad mount, which would be a high mount, all right? And it's to illustrate a point. There's a big difference when someone has a high mount versus when he has a low mount, okay? And it's easier to escape a low mount with shrimping than it is a high mount, all right? Because right now, at this point, I'm already in the position where I can start pushing, okay? Because my arms are somewhat straightened, all right? So I have more leverage to push. When he has a high mount, here, I don't have any leverage to push his leg away, all right? So if I, if I try to shrimp from here, I would be unsuccessful, and I'll just be wasting energy, all right? So whenever we're trying to escape positions, for example, a mount, side mount, we want to get his hips closer to my, to my hips, right? So what we're going to do is what I call a reverse army crawl. Well, I'll use my elbows as posts and I'll shift from shoulder to shoulder to move my uh, body away from his. Boom. Once I have him sitting over my hips, now I can go with a traditional motion of shrimping Right, which would be try to bring both hands as close to the knee as possible. And I'm going to extend the side that I'm pushing to, in this case my right, I'll let my right leg go flat on the mat here. And opposite foot will post on the ground as I move. So what I'm trying to do, push this down as I slide my hips out this way. Here. Okay. And here, once I push, I can look to get my knee out in front of his hip. Sometimes I might come in front like I did here. Other times I might end up having his leg go over. Just depends on how he moves. All right, either case I'm fine. In this case my leg came out so I can just now shift and replicate the motion on the opposite side. And all I gotta do is turn, roll my hips over. Even, come back over, if I did just this, where I have like a butterfly hook, I'm still good, all right? I don't need to get my leg over because when you watch, when I roll my hips over here, the leg will naturally pop out so that I can get into a, a half guard. And now I just do the same thing on the left, push, extend my hips away, and I can go and lock my closed guard. Another angle. So here he's riding high, elbows on his thighs, scoop back, boom. Once I feel like my elbows down to his knees and I feel his weight over my hips, I know I'm in a good position to escape, all right? Both hands, boom, come to the leg, let my other same side leg go flat, push, and move my hips away from him here, boom. Once my leg gets over or my knee pops out, I roll to the other side. Do the same thing, boom, lock up my guard, okay? Now another trick that we can do here, uh, I'll show you from a different angle, mount. If I get him here, all right, and let's say I was doing the other side, and I wasn't successful in pushing, he just had a really strong base, all right, what I can do is use my free leg to hook his ankle and lift up, okay? And now you can see I brought 
his ankle over in between my legs in what we would call like a very like shallow uh, half guard. Like usually when people are trying to pass your half guard and you sort of dangling here, you keep it from passing. But in this case, if I do this, I'm in a good spot because now when I roll my hips over, oh, he's going to have to move his leg. And now I can climb up higher for the half guard or I can just push out and replace my guard completely. Okay, so again, if he mounts from this angle, and here, I can't get any good push, and he's staying keeping his ankles real flat, so I'm not getting underneath his leg. My other leg will come over, and I'll use my heel to hook right at the, the bend of his ankle and lift up. And all I'm trying to do is to get his ankle over my leg. Once I have that, now I'll just turn my hips over, and I can push on his hips a little bit. Boom. Okay. And from here, I can replace, go into full guard. All right, so the hip escape from the mount, all right, the key thing that I want to stress the detail I don't see a lot of people do is to push the person down to a lower uh, mount rather than trying to start from a high mount. And then also as an option, you could use that, that ankle hook all right, to make the shrimping a little easier. Hello, and thank you for watching my video. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and check out my website right here at davidavalon.com and you'll be getting access to even more videos, techniques, tips, dieting advice, etc. Anything related to the mixed martial arts you can get by subscribing to my website. Again, here at davidavalon.com. There's a little box to the right. You can go ahead and submit your name and email and you'll be getting daily updates with videos, techniques, tips, dieting advice, uh, sports psychology, all that stuff is covered in my email list. And my emails are full of content, there's no spam or anything, and you can always unsubscribe yourself at any time if you choose. Also, if you're seeing this on YouTube, go ahead and click like uh, just underneath here, all right? And you could post a comment there, just letting people know, you know, what you felt about the video. If you're seeing this on an internet forum, go ahead and drop a comment underneath about the video. You could also just put TTT, which stands for to the top, so that more people can see the video. Again, all this stuff helps out, you know, you get more people to see uh, my videos, gives more exposure to my website. Okay, again, so you can click like, drop a comment, and of course, visit my website, davidavalon.com, and subscribe to my email list. Thank you.